Hello, love. One of my most dangerous adventures was when I got a bug stuck in my eye. I had to wear a patch for several days, but I kept running around in circles bumping into things. It was only later that I discovered that what I thought was actually a double-sided patch was a sleep mask. So, I don't want you running around in circles all confused, so I'm going to help you solve the next problem, because I think it can be one of the most challenging things you might do, and one of the most dangerous things you might face, even more dangerous than getting a bug stuck in your eye, and more challenging than running around in circles because you have a sleep mask over both eyes for three days and you can't see where you're going, which is not a really good thing when you're on a boat, because... You know, you step off the boat, and all of a sudden you're in the water, and that's not good. I don't really like the water. Come to think of it, I don't really like boats. I just like tartar sauce. But I don't know what's in tartar sauce, so that's somewhat frightening. Anyway, let's solve this problem, shall we? The first thing I'm going to do is take the number out in front of the logarithm and move it up inside, because you can't squish logarithms together until you've got the exponents inside them. So I'm going to take the 3 and move it inside and make it an exponent. And I'm going to take the 2 and move it inside and make it an exponent. So I get log base A of 2x plus 1 to the third love minus log base A of x minus 1 quantity squared love plus well, now the 7 presents somewhat of a problem because it has to be a logarithm to be combined with the others. So, um, what I need to do is I need to write it as a logarithm and I need to determine what I should put in here as my target so that when my target is cancelled out by the logarithm, I have a 7 left. Well, this would be a very difficult thing to figure out on your own, but as you do enough problems, hopefully you'll start to remember some of the little tricks that you learned from Captain Jack Sparrow. And actually, what I need to do is put an A to the seventh there. And if you don't believe that's right, the way that I got it was just thinking backwards. Let's reverse the process, see if we get the seven back. So if I were to cross out log base A and A, I think I would get the 7 back that I had originally. So it works. It's a trick, but it's a very handy trick to have in your arsenal. Now I can combine things under one logarithm. So I have log base A, and because this was a positive term, the thing inside that logarithm goes on the top. Now the next term is negative, so the things inside that logarithm go on the bottom. Whoops, that should be a 1, love. Quantity squared. And then here, this is also a positive term, so this needs to go on the top as well. Now you don't just put the 7 on top. The thing that was inside here that we had to put inside there so they cancel and give me a 7. I have to put the A in there as well. So I get A to the 7. The A appeared because I need it to give me a 7 in my original problem. And the A has to stay there. There's not much you can do about it. So I'm going to go now. It's time for me to go. I need to do something with my hair. Um, actually, I had this hair done like this because I kind of like Little House on the Prairie. And the girl that starred in Little House on the Prairie had hair like this, and I have hair like this. So um, I've had it let for a long time like this, and people make fun of me. They call me Guy with the Weird Hair, but I'm not going to let that stop me because I like Little House on the Prairie. I fought the Kraken. I can do what I want, right? Okay, love. Have a great day.